Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x plus y, this is equal to 100. Let's call this equation 1, and that x times y, this is 100. Let's call this equation 2. So what is the value of x, and what is the value of y? Now let's provide a solution from here. Now from equation 1, which is x plus y, this is equal to 100. Now let's make x to be the subject of the formula. In this case, we'll have x equal to 100 minus y. Let's call this equation 3. Now let's substitute equation 3 into equation 2, which is x times y, and this is equal to 100. Now let's substitute x, which is 100 minus y. So we have 100 minus y multiplied by y. This is equal to 100. Now let's open the parentheses here. 100 times y. This is 100y minus y times y. This is y squared. This is equal to 100. Now let's take 100 on the left-hand side so that we have 100y minus y squared minus 100. This is equal to 0. Now, let's rearrange this equation so that we have minus y squared plus 100y minus 100. This is equal to 0. Now, we can divide both signs by minus 1 so that minus y squared divided by minus 1. This is y squared. Then, plus 100y divided by minus 1. This is minus 100y minus 100 divided by minus 1, this is plus 100, this is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation where we have a equal to 1, b equal to minus 100, and c is equal to 100. Now the next step is we can solve for y1, comma y2 <coughs> by applying the quadratic formula which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here, divided by 2 times a. Now let's substitute the values of a, b, and c, so that we have minus minus 100 plus or minus, we have the square root of minus 100 raised to the power of 2 minus 4, multiplying by a which is 1, then multiplying by c which is 100, everything here, divided by 2, multiplying by 1. Now, minus times minus 100, this is equal to 100, plus or minus, we have the square root of minus 100 squared, this is the same thing as 10,000, then subtract 4 times 100, this is 400. Then everything here, divided by 2. So this implies we have 100 plus or minus the square root of 9,600. Then everything here, divided by 2. Now the next step from here, we have 100 plus or minus the square root of 9,600. We can express this as 64 multiplying by 25, multiplying by 6, everything here, divided by 2. So we have 100 plus or minus, we have the square root of 64, multiplying by 25, multiplying by 6, everything here, divided by 2. Now this means that we have 100 plus or minus the square root of 64, this is 8, multiplying by square root of 25, which is 5, then multiplying by square root of 6, everything here, divided by 2. So this is 100 plus or minus 8 times 5, this is 40, square root of 6, divided by 2. Now, in the numerator here, we can factor out 2, so that we have 2 into the parentheses. This is the same thing as 50 plus or minus 20 square root of 6, everything here, divided by 2. So let's simplify 2 and 2 here, so that now we have 
50 plus or minus 20 square root of 6. So this essentially implies that y1 is equal to 50 plus 20 square root of 6 and y2 is equal to 50 subtract 20 square root of 6. Now let's solve for the corresponding values of x1 and x2 and if you recall we have that in equation 3 x is equal to 100 minus y. Now from equation 3, from equation 3, we have x is equal to 100 minus y. So this means that x1 is equal to, that is 100 minus y1, which is 50 plus 20 square root of 6. So that now, here we have 100 minus 50, this is 50, minus times plus 20 square root of 6, this is minus 20 square root of 6. So that now, the first set of solution here, x1, comma y1, this is equal to 50 minus 20 square root of 6. And we have 50 plus 20 square root of 6. So this is the first set of solution that we have. Now let's solve for x2, which is equal to 100 minus y2 y2 is 50 minus 20 square root of 6. So x2 is equal to 100 minus 50. This is equal to 50. Then minus times minus 20 square root of 6. This is plus 20 square root of 6. So this implies that x2 comma y2. This is equal to 50 plus 20 square root of 6 and we have y2 which is 20 minus this is 50 minus 20 square root of 6 so x2 comma y2 this is equal to 50 plus 20 square root of 6 and we have y2 which is 50 minus 20 square root of 6. Now this is the second set of solution that we have. Now the second, this, the next step from here is to verify that these two set of solution here satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have that x plus y. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. And this is equation 1. We have that x multiplied by y, this is equal to 100, and this is equation 2. So this implies that x plus y, this should give us a value of 100. So let's verify x1, y1, by applying equation 1, so that we have 50 minus 20 roots 6 then plus 50 plus 20 square root of 6 this should give us a value of 100 so it's clear that minus 20 square root of 6 plus 20 square root of 6 simplifies then we have 50 plus 50 this is 100 which is equal to 100 and this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this verifies that x1 comma y1 satisfies the equation now let's take x2 comma y2 by applying equation 2 which is x times y this is supposed to give us a value of 100 now let's take x2 comma y2 now we have that equation 2 is x times y this is supposed to give us a value of 100. So we have 50 plus 20 square root of 6 multiplied by 50 minus 20 square root of 6. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. Now we have 50 times 50. This is 50 times 50 plus 50 multiplied by minus 
20 square root of 6 then plus now here we have plus 20 square root of 6 times 50 so this becomes 50 times 20 this is this becomes a thousand square root of 6 then we have minus 20 times 20 square root of 6 multiplying by square root of 6 this is supposed to give us a value of 100 now 50 times 50 this is 2500 then minus 1000 square root of 6 then plus a thousand square root of 6 then minus here we have 20 times 20 this is 400 square root of 6 times the square root of 6 this is times 6 this should give us a value of 100 so minus 1000 square root of 6 plus 1000 square root of 6 this simplifies so that we have 2500 subtract we have 400 multiplied by 6 this is 2400 this should give us a value of 100 so 2500 minus 2400 this is 100 which is equal to 100 so the left hand side is equal to the right add side and this affirms that x2 comma y2 also satisfies the equation so can you follow the steps like this video and kindly subscribe like this video and kindly subscribe see you in the next video